Բայեկոսցելերտադիտողներն մի տեսակ զուգահերվում են դիզայնի, էստետիկայի եւ ազգային հետ եւ այսպես բայեկո պարոն Թուֆենկյան շնորհակալություն հավել են ունելու համար։ Պարոն Թուֆենկյան, դուք մի տեսակ դրսի աչքով եք, հա, նայում մեր երկրին, ներսից եւ դրսից, այդ դեպքում մի տեսակ ավելի օբյեկտիվ կայնա լինել, ինչպես կգնահատեք այն փոփոխությունները, որ եղան հեղափոխությունը, խնդրեմ։ Unbelievable changes everywhere I look, um, and the impact on me is enormous. I can say for 26 years working in this country with the old regime, well, with the previous regimes, the work was always difficult. It was somewhat depressing, and now I wake up every day with hope and happiness. Depressive? Yeah, it was like there was a cloud over the country, and uh, uh, every day there was unhappiness all around. Um, we were dealing with issues. We were always trying to move forward with our work, move the country forward with our work, and always we felt that there were big forces working in the opposite direction. Zerk Artsikov, businessi hamar, ner drumneri hamar. Ais kana bavar et te ait popochutsune vardu kasetik te eli shul bane pet. Oh, of course, there's more, but I mean, the fundamental groundwork has been laid for all the changes that are needed. Uh, I mean, the uh, I mean, two things which have been done, which uh, for me, it's enough. It's the only thing that's done in the next 10 years. We had truly free and fair elections, and we've eliminated corruption from, let's say, the top of the government down. Therefore, uh, there's time to make all other changes, and I think all other good changes flow from these things. Now we have a government where the people are really trying to work every day for the good of the people, for the good of the country. And we've never had this kind of a system before. For me then to be able to work in that kind of environment and try to move forward with my work, it's just a pleasure. Բարոն Թուֆենկյան, տեսեք, դուք մի հատ մի հետաքրքիր թեմա ասացիք, պետական աշխատողները։ Մեր պետությունը էֆեկտիվության առումով ունի մի problem այդ աշխատողները ինչպես դուք նշեցիք այլևս չեն գողանում բայց նրանց աշխատավարձը շատ ցածր է եւ աշխատանքի մոտիվացիան մի տեսակ չկա ստեղից էլ գալիս այդ բարեփոխումների դանդաղ ընթացքը ինչ անել i absolutely that is a big problem and absolutely i think everybody can see that now there are difficulties in moving things through the bureaucracy when work has to get done as far as the changes which are needed, uh, the way in order to eliminate the corruption, I'm not an expert on it, but I've read that in other countries, the first step is that you have to try to reduce the number of employees. The assumption is that there's too many employees in the government for the work that exists. And once you reduce the employees, you have extra money to pay to the employees who are left over. Uh, զարգացման համար այդ երկու հիմնարար արժեքները կամ իրականությունը ընտրությունները չեն կեղծվում եւ կառավարությունը կոռումպացված չէ բոլորը դա տեսնում են բայց դուք ինքներ հետ ասիք որ դա բավարար չի ներդրումների համար ինչ ա պետք անել well i i mean my opinion right now from uh, the time of the new government, and especially in this month where there's been so much activity of foreign uh, activities in Armenia, uh, that there is a whole new attitude among people outside of the country. They view Armenia completely differently than before. And if it's not visible now that they're making more investment, that they're starting new projects, for sure it will be visible very, very soon. Hayastanis Durs, Hayere Te Naev Ashkar. I, I can say specifically about Armenians outside of Armenia. I, everybody I know out, outside now is either planning to buy a place here, planning to move here, planning to start a business here. Uh, and I think that's representative generally of what's going on in diaspora. 
And clearly the rest of the world has a different opinion about Armenia. I mean, we're kind of a hero country right now. One foreign ambassador in Armenia told me recently that this is one of the only countries you can look at where you feel hopeful about the world now. And this is a result of our revolution and the new system which has come about. Եվ դա բացատրում էին կորուպցիայով, որ Հայաստանի իշխանությունները փող են ուզում, վստահ չեն, որ բիզնեսը պաշտպանված է։ Այսօր այդ ամենը չկա։ Արդյոք ներդրումները ադեկված են այդ իրավիճակի փոփոխությանը։ Ինչու սփյուրքը այդքան ակտիվ չի, ինչքան մենք ակնկալում ենք։ Well again, my opinion is that diaspora is now very active. I mean, it takes some times for the the wheels to begin moving. Uh, and the machinery to begin to work. Uh, you are right that all of those years, it was a very convenient excuse for the diasporans to say there's too much corruption, it's impossible to work in Armenia. Uh, for my 26 years here, part of my job was to try to show diasporans that's not really true. You still can work here in, these, in this environment. But all of my work, whatever I could say before, is nothing compared to the difference in attitude that they, they have as a result of the new regime. Now they have no more excuses. Uh, I want to do a lot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> specifically, uh, from the time of the new government, we started the project which we planned for many years, which was to build a large hotel in Arni. Uh, Arani region to support wine making and wine tourism. We always felt in Armenia that there were not enough bases of tourism, uh, too much historical monuments and too little of other things. So we felt it was very important now that we have great wine in Armenia and wine is getting better and better. Now we have the story of the 6,000 year old winery that this country should be a major destination for wine tourism. Only there were no facilities for it. So we, uh, we started this project in Arani and it's been under construction for one year. We expect it to open in March of 2021. And through the whole process, not only have we had no interference from the government in the process, but we've had great assistance from the government. Uh, yes, actual, I mean, again, I mean, for all the years that I've been working in the country, I've said basically I don't look for any support from the government. I just don't want the government to get in the way of our work. And now actually, it's a new thing that actually the government can support. And it's very, I mean, for us, it makes the project much more feasible and it makes the work much more uh, effective. <laughs> Հյուր եվ ինք հասեցիս չի պատրասում պահեն թուվենկյանը գյումրիում, թուվենկյան հյուրանոց կարոցել, կարեն որ դա կոլորիտով գյումրի հետ շատ կսազի։ Yeah, we had uh, acquired a property there many years ago because I love Gyumri. I think it has great potential for tourism. I love the people in Gyumri and uh, uh, the craftsmen, the artists. We've worked with a lot of craftsmen from there through all of our projects. And I would really like to make a hotel there. For us, it didn't seem to be feasible uh, until, well, the, the best thing that could happen for tourism in Gyumri would be opening the border with Turkey so that there can be direct tourists to uh, uh, Ani from there. And uh, for right now, we have enough projects in other parts of the country. I can't do too many projects at one time, but definitely in the future, Gyumri is a possibility. And I also I understand that several other uh, diasporans have opened hotels there and really uh, through diasporan and government help that the city has become much more alive and, uh, uh, and interesting for visitors too. So I'm happy about that. Նա պետք է շարժվի մշակույթի հետ, նա պետք է միջավայս տեղծի, էստեթիկա, գեղեցկություն, հա փորձի փոխել իր միջավայրը։ Ես նայում եմ լսում եմ ձեր հարցազրույցը, բիզնեսի ձեր 
պատկերացումը եւ նայում եմ տեղական խոշոր գործարներին որտեղ բացի փողը մոտապես ուրիշ ոչ մի արժեք չկա այ ոնց է կարծում մեր ազգային կապիտալը մեծ մասամբ այ նման հարցների ձեռքինա ոնց պետքա փոխել ինչպես փոխել որ այդ կապիտալը նաև կարողանա բացի փող բերելը փոխի շրջապատը սոցիալական պատասխանատվություն ցենց ասած I I have to start by looking back at myself and asking how I got on this kind of a track in my life and work. I I think part of it is that I was fortunate that I made a lot of money early in my career in business after I graduated from school. And uh uh it was never my intention in life to just get rich. I didn't see the point in just having a lot of money and making myself feel good all the time. I uh, if the rest of the world suffers I can't feel happy myself. So I felt that the best thing I could do with my money was to try to use it to help other people. Uh then in 1991 we had this miraculous event when Armenia became free and I had a place to focus my activities on, a country to help develop, a people to help uh to grow up and and recover from all the horrible things of our history. So uh, I I hope maybe with the local businessmen that I mean first of all they're coming from a different system and a different life than I came from coming out of the Soviet Union coming out of our history and I certainly can't judge them for not being more involved in social welfare kind of things but I hope that as they're you know they become more secure and they see potential for the country that they start to understand also that the happiness doesn't just come from making money but actually more happiness comes from spending it in a good way. Բանտո Ֆենկյան, տեսեք, դուք են Հայաստանը որ նկարագրում եք, Հայաստանում կա նաև սոցիալական, նաև սոցիալական ցանցեր։ Ես գիտեմ որ դուք ենք երջանիկ մարդ եք ընդեղ չեք մտնում, բայց Հայաստանի հասարակության զգալի մասը են տեղա, իսկ այնտեղ եփեմն ապոկալիպտիկ բաներ են ասում Հայաստանի մասին որ այս կառավարությունը ձախողել է որ մենք շատ սխալ ուղությամբ ենք գնում այսի ծայրը հեղացված են կարծիքները դուք ինչպես կգնահատեք It's hard for me to respond Ոչ մի բան չի փոխվում It's difficult for me to respond to this because when I hear these kind of complaints it's just I I don't know what reality they're looking at because when I look around the country when I work in the country when I talk to foreigners who come here everything has changed everything is different the attitude of the people here people are happy now i mean if you ask me one big reason why tourism is going up so strongly in the country is because the feeling that the guests have from our local people before there was always a sadness inside of them and it's no longer true there's happiness and there's hope and this is attractive to people coming in from outside this happiness and hope doesn't come from nowhere it changed completely with the new regime in the old regime there was no hope there was no chance for get things getting better people were running away from the country by the millions now i see people everywhere that feel this is my country and i'm here to stay and my future is here i mean this is all the signs that the change is tremendous and i just can't even comprehend the criticism that's being made dev asmundu gerjanik martek chek shefum sozialakan zantsere շնորհակալություն Պարոն Թոֆենկյան հետաքիր հարցազրույցի համար եւ ձեր բիզնեսներին եւ այսպես ասենք պրոյեկտներին հաջողություն շատ շնորհակալություն ա դուք հայնել եք խո մի քիչ մի այն մի քիչ շնորհակալություն սերիոզ տատովեր մեր հյուր ամերիկահայ գործարան ներդնող ջեմ Թոֆենկյանն էր մենք այսպես ասած ամերիկահայ ներդրողի աչկերով նայեցինք մեր իրականությանը գործարար միջավայրին կհանդիպենք տեսություն